The purpose of this video is to explain how to apply cumulative FTF updates to Zenworks. Cumulative FTF updates are different than system updates. System updates are downloaded directly into ZCC and distributed via the system update process. Cumulative FTF updates are cumulative patches for various patches between system updates. Cumulative FTF updates consist of quality improvements, important defect fixes, performance issues, security vulnerabilities, platform support, and minor schema changes. The cumulative FTF updates must be applied on all Zenworks primary servers, first beginning with the primary containing the local database. There is no reboot needed, but there is minimal downtime for services. The required disk space for performing these updates is at least 5 gigs. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you how to apply FTF1009 because it is the latest at the time of this recording. FTF updates can be found in the software download section of the customer portal. FTFs are available to download if product support entitlement is purchased. The zip file for the FTF update includes the files for the patch as well as a change log and a readme file that directs you to a web page. Generally, updates are inclusive and installing older FTFs are not required. However, the readme file within the download should always be read to ensure that any prerequisites are met. In the case of 1009, it is necessary to first have FTF 998 installed. Let's begin with a demonstration of applying FTF1009 on a Linux appliance. We will follow the steps in the readme file to apply the patch. The first step is to copy the patch over to a temp directory on the primary server. We will then navigate to that temp directory and unzip the patch file. Run the zocker version command to confirm the version matches what is expected in the readme file. Next, we will need to stop the necessary services prior to applying the patch. Per the FTF documentation, you will run the export command and then the zocker FTF apply command to begin applying the patch. This process may take several minutes. Once the Zocker FTF apply command finishes running, you will need to run the four Microfocus Zenworks configure commands. Again, this process may take several minutes. Once all commands have completed, restart the stopped services. Run docker image ls and get the image ID for files to compare what is expected in the readme to what you see on your system. For example, Zen Core would now be 20.2.0.109. Running cumulative FTF updates does not change the version reflected in ZCC. You can only identify this via Zocker commands. Run Zocker FTF list L to see what FTFs are applied to the environment. Now let's demonstrate applying 1009 to a Windows primary server. Just as we did with the Linux setup, Windows also needs to have FTF 998 applied prior to applying 1009. We will also need to put the FTF zip file into a temp folder and then stop the necessary Zenworks services before we apply the patch. 
run the zocker version command to confirm the version matches what is expected in the readme file. We then navigate to the temp directory where we placed the zip file in the command prompt and run the zocker ftf apply command to apply the patch. This process may take several minutes. Once the Zocker FTF apply command completes, you will need to run the four Microfocus Zenworks configure commands. This process may take several minutes. Once all commands have completed, restart the services. Next, you will move the EP security file for both Windows 32 and X64 from the ZAV folder to the Zocker backup folder of the previously installed FTF. Run Zocker image ls and get the image ID for files to compare what is expected in the README to what you see on your system. For example, Zen Core should now be 20.2.0.109. And finally, run Zocker FTF list l to view the FTFs that are applied to the environment. The exact steps for applying a new FTF may vary slightly. It is important to refer to the README file for the FTF you are applying to ensure the proper steps are being followed.